What's going on YouTube? Jonathan Wright here with Tactical Toolbox and today I got a first for you guys. First time ever we're reviewing some ammunition. In particular, Civil Defense from Liberty Ammunition. And this is their self-defense carry round. This one's chambered in 9mm. They also have it available in 380 and 223. Um, I have all three for review. But in particular I wanted to test this one out because this is what I carry every day as a 9mm. Um, these are very unique in a couple of different respects. Uh, number one, they're lead free, um, which actually reduces the weight of the bullet down from the typical 115, 124 grain down to 50 grains. But in return, what you get is about 900 feet per second faster. So they have a claimed velocity of 2000 feet per second. And uh, I don't know what size barrel they tested it out of. I'm gonna send them an email and ask them so I can try to replicate the test. I'm gonna get a velocity meter in the desert and stuff and see what we can get. Um, but it is an interesting science that's behind this and the science is sound theoretically. Now, th everything works in theory, but until you actually put it into practice and take real life uh, scenarios such as clothing and all those other things, science can crumble on itself. So theoretically, what they're saying is by reducing the weight and increasing the powder, we're getting 2000 feet per second. But the science is like this. Um, a lot of criticism has been made about this ammunition because it doesn't have the FBI specs for penetration. Now, if you think about something, um, I always think about in the movies, I can't remember which movie it is. I think it was Kill Bill with Lucy Liu. And I don't remember if they cut her head off or split her in half or something like that. But um, what had basically had happened is uh, something cut her real fast and you didn't even know that you know she was cut. And then all of a sudden she goes, falls apart. Um, ammunition's kind of like that as well. That's why they tell you not to carry um, full metal jacket, typically round nose as a carry round, not because of just over penetration, but it'll penetrate and that person may not even know they're hit until way later. So you want to create a wound channel and some damage done. So they actually feel it <clears throat> and they are like, holy crap. You know, because there's no such thing as stopping power. So you really got to shake people up if uh, you're trying to stop a threat and they're trying to hurt you. Um, but the science is it won't penetrate as deep, but the amount that it does penetrate, it will transfer all the energy from that round into the body. And uh, that does make sense. Now, obviously, um, I don't know how you would test that, but I do know from uh, being a former pre-medical student that shock waves of energy can shut down organs, which is why if you got punched in the chest hard enough, or when you get in a car accident, right? And a seat belt yanks you. I've heard of organ failure from that, um, concussions on the brain. That's all shock waves of energy. Um, so the science makes sense. And uh, I've been very, very impressed with it. I tested it against my Hornady, uh, critical duty that I typically carry at the range. And I got tighter groups with this. It actually improved my groupings by two inches. Now keep in mind, I was testing them with my Glock 26, which I was getting used to because I sent my Glock 19 off to get some custom work done on it. And so I needed another gun for carry. Um, so I was getting used to the Glock 26, but I'd already put through a couple of hundred rounds right before I did this review. So I was good and warmed up, but um, it's very, uh, a lot louder. It, gives less recoil and you get tighter groupings. So what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna dive down, take a look at this and talk about it a little bit more and then we'll wrap up this uh, initial first impressions.
So this is the Civil Defense 9mm plus P 50 grain lead free ammunition from libertyammunition.com. Now these guys have been very cool. They actually just, I, I reached out to them back in June actually, and they were like, absolutely, you know, we will definitely provide you with some ammo for review because I was just very interested because it's a very unique ammunition. It actually, um, I've never seen any lead free ammunition before, but they also make it in a variety of different calibers. So I got some 223 here, goes at 3000. This is a typical 55 grain, but it's, uh, I believe this is lead free. Yep, lead free, starburst, um, fragmentation, one MOA at 300 meters in deep projectile cavity, and you need a minimum of a one in nine twist. Then they also make it for 380 auto. That goes 1500 feet per second. Oh man, that's awesome. You know, a lot of people give uh, my wife crap because she carries a 380, but look at this, 12 inches of penetration at 10 feet and uh, two inch dispersion of the uh, round itself. Deep cavity projectile. I mean, this stuff's pretty awesome. So let's just take a quick look at it and see what it looks like. And we'll compare it to my typical carry ammo. So typically guys, I've been carrying the Hornady uh, Critical Defense in my Glock 19 and Glock, uh, no, I'm sorry, Critical Duty in my Glock 19 and Glock 26. So here is the Liberty Ammunition. Now this is a really cool round. You can actually feel the weight difference in your hand because um, this is 124 grain, whereas this is 50 grains. Um, this is 1100 feet per second, and this one is 2000 feet per second. And I believe they're probably tested out of a four and a quarter inch barrel or a five inch barrel. I'd actually have to get with them about that. But great, great little round. And like I said, I got better groupings with this than I actually did with the Hornady. So there's something to be said there about, you know, the one MOA thing that they stated on their 223 rounds. You know, when something's going faster through the air, um, it's cutting through the air and air is going around it. So it's more stable. And so that makes sense that I would actually get a better grouping with it. Um, they don't quite get the penetration that this would get. So that's just a quick little up close guys of what this round looks like. And like I said, we're later on, we're going to be going out into the desert and tearing some stuff up. So guys, that concludes my initial first impressions of Liberty ammunition, civil defense, lead free 50 grain ammunition. It's great ammo. Um, it ran just great in my, uh, Glock 26. I had less recoil and I had tighter groups. And now in the near future, like I said, we're gonna be hitting the desert and we're gonna test penetration, expansion, things of that nature. And so stay tuned, subscribe to our social network so you can um, subscribe, uh, keep up with our giveaways and then subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can see when we do the field test of this. And we'll also be doing field test of the, the 223 as well as the 380. And then we can make a determination, okay, is this a good carry option for ammunition? But in the meantime, like I said, there, I'll put a coupon code in the description below and go to Liberty Ammunition and pick yourself up a box. I don't get any benefit from it. If you buy it, you know, through me or not, I'm just helping them out because they're helping me out and I wanted to review their ammo. But anyways, guys, I'm Jonathan Bright with Tactical Toolbox and you stay sexy.